So uveal melanoma patients unfortunately haven't had many treatment options in the past, and there's only one FDA-approved treatment option, and that's only available to about half of patients uh, that have HLA-AO2 status. And so this trial is looking at a combination of Durovacertib, which is a PKC inhibitor, in addition to Crizotinib, a MET inhibitor. And this was evaluated um, in a phase one and a phase two study. And so the results presented were looking at the cohort expansion of the combination of Durovacertib and Crizotinib. Um, and the exciting results were demonstrating an overall response rate of 30%, 45% in patients uh, that were treated in the frontline setting. And we also saw a significant molecular response for patients. 94% of patients had a significant response in their CT DNA. The safety profile is very manageable. We saw several GI toxicities, um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, in addition to rash and edema. Um, but an exciting um, combination uh, to be able to keep an eye out for in, in the uveal melanoma patient population.